This is the eighth episode of Versus Video Series or VS Squared. Ha! This is the Wars Stick Show. This channel is now the IT Fighting Arena. We're gonna make them fight till death so that you will learn more and understand things better. So, there is this interesting meme. And I found it, or I saw it, in LinkedIn. So basically here, it's saying, learn Linux first, before you learn Cloud, before you learn Docker, before you learn Kubernetes. And the last statement here, they are referring to most probably learn Linux before cybersecurity and other technologies. So there's also a debate, learn networking first, before cybersecurity, before cloud, etc. So which one is first? Which one is more important to learn? Networking or Linux? The obvious answer is, it depends. Well, we already know that. But here in this channel, we don't state the obvious. Rather, we're gonna compare which foundation is more important on various tracks. And I will divide this into four. Here are the four tracks or specialization. First, DevOps. Next, offensive security. Then defensive security. And the fourth is cloud computing. For Linux, we would go for generic Linux, whether it's Debian based or Red Hat based. For networking, these are routing and switching skills. Well, basically CCNA level skills. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like nice video dean from singapore cuba sec republic but if you are in a large country please also mention your city from adelaide houston algiers etc first devops now devops is specialization and you cannot just move to devops career so what is devops so for those who are not familiar with DevOps, DevOps is a way for developers and IT operation teams to work together so they can build, test, and deliver software faster and more reliably. Basically, it's a framework for better production and also helps different teams to collaborate. DevOps focuses on automation. And here are three common tools used in DevOps. First, GitHub. GitHub is used for tracking code changes and code collaboration. Next is CI CD pipeline, such as Jenkins. This is used for automating builds, tests, and deployment. And last, containers. Containers is used for packaging those applications so they can run consistently anywhere. It's faster, more lightweight, and portable than virtual machines. All right, so let's ask ourselves, okay? First, GitHub. Do you require Linux knowledge to learn GitHub effectively or work GitHub effectively? Not really. How about networking? Do you require networking knowledge? Not at all. How about CI CD pipeline such as Jenkins? Do you require Linux knowledge? Well, it will help definitely. How about networking? Is it required to learn CI CD with networking knowledge? The answer is no. Let's move to containers like Docker and Kubernetes. Do you require Linux knowledge for you to understand and work with Dockers and Kubernetes? The answer is absolutely, 100%. How about networking? Do you require networking to understand containerization? Not really. You can understand containerization, Docker and Kubernetes with minimal networking knowledge. So for DevOps, is Linux skills or networking skills more important? Of course, it's Linux. Yes, Linux is more important for DevOps. Now let's move to offensive security. And when we say offensive security, these are all related to ethical hacking, penetration testing, red team, social engineering, malware testing, etc. This is pretty obvious, you know? Let's go to penetration testing first. So under penetration testing, we have web application penetration testing, malware, excuse me, malware related, AD or Active Directory related. And if you think about it, not so much with networking. For example, 
web application penetration testing. The core skills for penetration testers are application and coding. You see, over 80% of penetration testing tools are Linux based. And yes, it's mandatory for you to learn Linux if you want to focus on offensive security. And please be reminded that we have specific operating system or distros that are designed for offensive security or penetration testing, such as Kali Linux and Pirate OS. The only part of offensive security that is more related to networking is penetration testing in wireless or wireless penetration testing slash ethical hacking. We have wired penetration testing or ethical hacking though, like the HCP starvation, VLAN hopping, SDP manipulation, but these are getting less and less popular. As a matter of fact, it's almost obsolete. Most penetration testers I know are not skilled in networking or not skilled much in networking, only has minimal knowledge in routing and switching. And I think that's enough. And that is fine. They have better Linux skills anyway. So for offensive security, Linux skills versus networking skills, which is more important? Definitely Linux. Next, defensive security. And I will combine both security solutions engineering and SOC engineering role. What's the difference? Well, for security solutions engineering or architect, it focuses more on designing and implementing security solutions. This includes next generation firewall, VPN, next generation IDS, next generation IPS, what else? Web application firewall or WAF, ADC or application delivery controller, malware protection, IAM, DLP, NDR, etc. For SOC, while it overlaps some of the technology with security solutions, the processes and tools used are different. In SOC, you will work on some or most of the security solutions that I mentioned, but you will also be using various tools for security analysis, forensic investigation, threat hunting, responding to various threats and attacks. And many of these tools are Linux-based. It's kind of obvious that you need both skills, but I want to rate both of these roles. We'll score it five, well, one to five. Five is the highest. Let's do this. So first, security solutions engineer or security solutions architect. Uh, for network skills, I would rate this five. Yeah, it requires networking knowledge, not just routing and switching, but more. How about Linux skills? I would score this too. Yes, it's a little low because I know some security engineers or security architects who doesn't know Linux at all. Now, now for the security engineers, excuse me, security operation center or SOC engineer manager or engineers, um, this engineers and managers focuses on security analysis, digital forensic investigator, incident response, excuse, excuse me, incident responder and threat hunting. Um, so let's score. Networking skills for SOC engineer up to the manager level. I would score this four. For Linux skills, I would also score this four. Yeah, I would say it's equal. So, let's have a verdict. For defensive security, it's Linux skills or networking skills. Which one is more important? I would say... It's very close, but networking skills win this specialization. Now for cloud engineering related roles. When you say cloud, this encompasses various technologies, mainly networking, compute, storage, database, and application with various specializations as well. So in cloud, you can specialize in DevOps, security, machine learning, and AI, IoT, and many others. If there is this one skill that I recommend you to learn prior going to cloud career, it would be virtualization. And not all virtualization or VMware engineers are knowledgeable on Linux. How about networking? Do they know networking? All of these virtualization specialists, I would say they do at least the basic, but not CCNA level, not even CCNA level. However, 
Linux is often used for running servers and application services. And in the cloud, familiarity with Linux helps you navigate cloud instances, set up cloud environments, and monitor cloud resources. Also, when you, when you can or when you manage and run scripts in the cloud, such as AWS or GCP CLI, you would be using Linux. How about networking? Networking knowledge. Well, networking knowledge or networking skills is often underrated, but it's really crucial when it comes to cloud infrastructure, especially with services like VPC. VPC stands for Virtual Private Cloud, which is basically the backbone of cloud networking. In VPC, you will use your network uh, concepts and configuration, routing, IP addressing, NAT, and many others. So for cloud, what do you think? Is Linux skills more important than networking skills? Well, I will give this tie. I will give this a tie. I will give 0.5 for Linux, 0.5 for networking. So let's check our score. Linux skills, 2.5. Networking skills, 1.5. We have a winner! Well, I'm not saying Linux is always more important between the two. It still depends on your role. I'm just saying that you will see more Linux from this four specialization. Now, let's look at the meme again. The last statement here. Do you really need to learn Linux before everything else? Okay, let me ask you this. Do you need to learn Linux before networking? Nah, I know many network engineers, there are even CCIEs, who doesn't know anything about Linux. And it goes both ways. I know many Linux engineers who only know a little of IP addressing, but not routing and switching skills. But I always say this again and again, it's always good to learn both technologies. So what do you think? If you have to choose which technologies you will learn first, and which skills you have to develop more, Linux or networking. 